sort of went on a bit about where that but <laughs> to England again for a few days, actually just a couple of days. So it's a quick visit and I thought I'd use this opportunity just to record a quick video. Because I haven't had a chance to do anything. I've moved house, I've moved office, I have stuff everywhere, I'm mentally busy and it's just a bit of chaos at the moment and I can't get organised. So I sort of went on a bit about my cars. Car wise, the RS is fine. I did have a bit of an issue. The engine management light came on when I was on the motorway the other day. I was heading back from the airport. It came on. I don't know why they took it to Forge. Blah blah blah. Anyway, so fine. A little less something with the catalytic converter, but it's fine. No issues. So uh, they've removed it. They checked everything. They couldn't find a fault. But so anyway, for now it's fine. Um, the chimney seems okay, although I had a couple of moments where I had to brake quite hard, and to me it felt like the wheels completely locked up and I had these massive tyre marks all on the road. So I don't think the ABS is working on the Jimny, so I desperately need to get that checked out. The Ferrari's been good. Uh, actually, we had a really nice day out. We went to, we had the Porsche Club and the Ferrari Club got together one Saturday. We did a big long drive through the mountains and then went for lunch. It was really nice actually, and the Porsche Club, a really nice bunch of people, really friendly, really enjoyed it. Thought for a minute, I was like, should I really buy a Porsche? And join that club. They seem to have a lot of fun. Nice to be out with all the other cars, you know, it generates a lot of attention and it's quite cool to be part of this convoy. So that was good fun. And then I got to, I finally got to the point about what I actually wanted to record the video about, which was Ford Fair. We've been trying to plan our summer holiday and I was thinking of going to England, taking the kids to England for July, August, for a couple of weeks. And then I realised that Ford Fair is on, I think end of July, I think it is. And then I thought, well, hold on, actually, why don't we drive up to England? I've never done that. And, you know, because I live in the south of Spain, so I drive up to England and go to Ford Fair. So I thought of going and, but then it's like, it's July, it'd be absolutely boiling to go from here to the north of Spain. Then you get the, so we go to north of Spain, to get from, here, from from where I am to north of Spain is about 12 hours. Then you've got to get a ferry to Southampton, I think it is. So it's quite a long couple of days, I think, to get there. So I was wondering, Who's going to Ford Fair? Does everybody go to Ford Fair, is it? You know, is it, is it quite common? I know it's quite big, but is it quite popular? A lot of people actually go. And if you're going, we could leave it in the comments or something. So if we do decide to go, it'd be nice to know who's there and I can say hi to people or whatever, but. Then after that, I switched the camera off because I was about 10 minutes from the airport and I thought nobody wants to see my face just driving. I don't really think anybody wants to see my face. And then about two minutes later, there was like an explosion from the back of the car. I, know, I thought I'd hit something. So it was like I was cruising at sort of RS cruising speed. You know what that is. Just massive noise. And then I, I didn't know when I looked in the mirror, I couldn't see anything. And I thought something may have crawled and run under the car or something. It looked like it was a massive like sound, a massive bang. And then all the tyre pressure bloody lights came on from the dashboard. It was like, whoa, and like notifications coming on like mad. Bloody puncture. So luckily I was just going past some services. So I pulled into the services and the right rear tyre had punctured. But I was like, why did it make such a noise? I mean, it was like an explosion at the back. So, um, so I could see, so I, could, I sort of felt around and then I could feel that there was a bit of a, a hole or something. But I thought, well, there's no spare wheel in this car. Uh, I don't think you get a spare wheel at the back because of the four-wheel drive system, so there's only that, that liquid thing. So anyway, so I quickly put it all, you know, connected it, put the pump there and thought, squirt the liquid in and the foam, whatever it is, and see if I can get to the airport. Because at this point I was panicking, I had to get to the airport. It turns out that that liquid is rubbish, <laughs> unless I think the, the hole is tiny. It just started spewing everywhere. It was completely pointless. And then I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna that's gonna really miss my flight and I need to be in England. So I thought there's only one thing for it. I need to get back in the car and drive it to the airport. Normally, at normal RS cruising speeds, 
it's about 10 minutes from where I actually had the puncture. So I literally just crawled along and I thought surely the car's quite stiff and it's not going to put a lot of weight on that tyre out there, and especially because relatively heavy, I'm balancing the car out this way. <laughs> so I crawled to the airport, I was doing about sort of 80 kilometres an hour, waiting for any minute of losing control, but okay, it sounds a bit irresponsible. But actually it was absolutely fine, and by the time I actually got to my parking place, the wheel, the tyre was exactly how it was when I was at the services, it didn't wreck the tyre or anything, well it didn't wreck it anymore. Um, so the car was drivable on three good tyres, on one punctured tyre. So, yeah, so it wasn't the best of weeks really, because I'd had that problem with the warning light thing, the engine management light, check engine light, whatever they call it, they would come on here. I don't think the ABS is working on the Ghibli, which is a bit odd, I need to take that to have a look at. It always worries me when I have to do some heavy braking work. <laughs> I was coming up to a zebra crossing the other day, and there was somebody about to cross, and I slammed the brakes on the Ghibli, and it was comical because all the wheels appeared to lock up, and the car was like squirming its way to a standstill. It just must have looked ridiculous. You don't see cars locking up and smoke coming out of it. I definitely think the ABS is working. I'm not sure what sort of video this is. It's a bit rubbish. I do apologize. <laughs> but I am going to do my... I, I did a Q&A thing recently and I haven't done the actual video. So I had loads of questions and I was going to give away 10 hands. So I'll try and do that video next week. But I've just been so busy with all the move and everything. But anyway, I shall do that video next week. Right. Catch you later. Have a good day. Safe driving. Bye.